Hey guys, I'm the Burke and I do things. And today I have the March 2019 Boxy Lux unboxing for you guys. So if you do not know what this is, Boxy Charm is a $21 a month subscription and every three months you can pay an extra, I wanna say $28 to get the Boxy Lux. This will be my second time receiving the Boxy Lux box. I really liked my first one in December. I do receive a regular BoxyCharm in PR. I, however, do pay for this subscription. My PR box actually is right here unopened. I will be filming with this guy once my Ipsy Glam Bag Plus shows up. So if you wanna see what came in this month's Boxy Lux, then keep on watching. Let's go. Okay, and here is the theme this month. It is La Vie en Rose and here we have all the information for everything inside of our box. Okay, so on top we actually have a makeup bag. Okay, here is the little bag this month. Oh wow, it's actually, can you see that? It's holographic. There's little rainbows in it. I mean, these are definitely cute. This is a good size bag. I don't necessarily subscribe to Boxy Lux to get this little Boxy Charm bag, but it's definitely a nice, decent size for travel, so. I like this one better than the one we got last Boxy Lux for sure. And it says that the bag retails for $20, which we'll see. <laughs> okay, so the first product I see in here is from Lily Lashes, and these are the limited edition faux mink lashes in the style, I'm not even gonna try. Okay, so here are the style, and yay, guy, I don't know how to pronounce that word. I will say, I've heard a whole heck of a lot about Lily Lashes. I've never tried them. I'm kind of happy they included Foam Ink, for sure. This set retails for $24.99. It says on here that you can get up to 20 wears. I don't really wear fake lashes that much, but it is nice if I ever want to wear fake lashes to have a nicer set, I guess. That's what I think about that. Okay, the next product is from Iconic London, and this is a brand that I've seen a lot on Instagram, but I've never tried before. And this is the Eyebrow Cushion. Does that have like a shade? Okay, I have shade medium. I'm pretty sure I saw Tati do a review of this product on her channel. Okay, and okay, so it does come with a little spoolie and brush, and in here is the cushion product. I forget what Tati's overall opinion was on this product. The video came out a while ago. I mean, I'm definitely interested to try something like this because I would never go out and buy this probably. So it's cool to get to try it. And Iconic London is a kind of pricier brand. On here it says the eyebrow cushion retails for $40. Yeah, I would not be paying $40 for this for sure. Okay, the next product is from It Cosmetics and this is the Confidence in a Cream Moisturizer. I have used a full size of this before. I actually finished up a full size in my most recent empties. Honestly, it's not my absolute favorite moisturizer for my skin. So because of that, I will be not opening this and I will set it aside for a giveaway coming soon. And that full size retails for $48. It is pretty pricey. Okay, the next product in here is a set of nail polishes from Deborah Lipman. Let's see what shades we have here. I've never actually tried this brand of nail polish. I see it all the time on Sephora's website. These are some really pretty colors. We have Modern Love and Odonna. Those are really pretty. So these look like minis, I believe. And this set retails for $20, which is a lot of money for two mini little guys here, but they're really pretty. I'm excited to try this brand. The next product in here is from Becca. And this is the Ultimate Lipstick Love, and the shade is taupe. Oh my gosh, did I actually get like a nude colored lip product? That would be amazing. All right, this is a very large component, and it's not the most nude. It's kind of dark. I'll definitely try it out. I've never tried any lip product from Becca. It just smells like lipstick. I've never tried any lip product from Becca. I have seen some of their glosses recently at TJ Maxx, but I haven't picked anything up. It does have a little magnetic closure there. This lipstick 
Retails for $24, which seems pretty typical for a Becca product. Okay, next we have Moda brushes. And I'm so happy because this is my like third time in the last month getting Moda brushes in some sort of box. And I've been really enjoying getting to try this brand because I haven't really tried anything from them before. This is the Powder and Soft Glow brush. Okay, here is the powder brush. It feels nice. And here is the soft glow brush. This is really interesting. It's so floppy. And this set, I'm assuming it's pretty affordable. Yeah, oh wow, this set retails for $29.99. I thought Moda was cheaper. Wow, I did not expect these to be that expensive. I'm very surprised. Okay, the next product is from Wander Beauty. I feel like it would not be an unboxing without a Wander Beauty product. And this is the Lift Off Purifying and Brightening Peel Off Mask. This is really, this is 2.02 ounces and it says this rose gold pearl peel off mask contains a skin loving blend of fruit extracts to heal purify and replenish dull skin this mask retails for 34 dollars nice this box i has a lot in it i think we have two products left okay the next i'm very excited for i saw this all over instagram this is from cover fx and this is called the Perfector face palette. I'm wondering which one I got because I think there were two different shades <laughs> Okay, I did get the lighter version Which I'm wondering if boxycharm Customized this face palette to your complexion. I don't know if they have our complexion information But I think this is really cool. So what this palette has are Two highlighters a brightener, which I'm assuming is for under the eyes. I'm not really sure a finishing powder a blush and a contour And I just think it looks really nice the actual like packaging is very, very heavy. It feels really nice and luxurious, honestly. This retails for $45. So this to me was the thing I was the most excited about getting in this box. We have one last product, which I know some people were not happy when BoxyCharm announced that these were going to be coming in this boxy Lux. But you know, sometimes putting more affordable brands like this means they can put other higher end brands. I don't know. I don't really have a care in the world either way. We did, everyone did get a little Morphe palette. I have the 15N Night Master palette and it says blend the rules. I think there was a chance of getting one of four palettes. So I'm not actually sure what this one looks like. And this feels nothing like the Morphe palette I currently have. So it actually feels pretty decent quality. Okay, and it has a mirror, which I'm not used to Morphe palettes having. Okay, so this is definitely a more dark toned palette, but I think it looks really pretty. It looks like it's just a bunch of browns and a couple purples. Honestly, I'm not mad about this. I I don't really hate or love Morphe. I just feel pretty whatever about them. I'll definitely try it, give it a fair shot. I mean, I hope it's really good because I mean, I really do love my Jaclyn Hill palette. And this retails for... $16. So yeah, this is literally the cheapest thing in the entire box. So that's why they were able to have, I feel like, a lot more expensive products because they went with a more affordable eyeshadow palette. So shall we tally the whole box up now? Okay, according to my calculations, this box is valued just under $302, which is pretty awesome. I'm very happy with this month's box. If I had to pick the things I'm the most excited to try out, definitely the Cover FX palette. I'm pretty excited to try out these Moda brushes. And I think my other most excited is trying out these nail polishes. I think they look really pretty. What do you guys think is the best value in this box? Did you guys get Boxy Lux? Did you get the same eyeshadow palette as me? What about your lipstick? I'm assuming everyone got different lipstick shades. I'm not sure what else was a variation this month, honestly. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you guys thought. And I'll be unboxing this guy versus my Ipsy Glam Mag Plus whenever that shows up. I did see it mailed today. However, my Ipsy mailing always seems to be extremely slow every single month. So who knows when that will show up. And yeah, that is it for this video. As usual, thanks for stopping by my channel. If you're new here, click the subscribe button and ring that bell for notifications. I have my Twitter and my Instagram down below. Give them a follow and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.